Japanese knotweed is very hard to get rid of, but controlling it is important to prevent it from spreading. Some municipalities and homeowners choose to use chemical herbicides to control the plant. The Brattleboro Conservation Commission supports non-chemical methods to remove knotweed. Because 75% of the plant is actually underground, the most successful method is to try and starve the roots. An effective way to do this is to cut the stalks. The best time to start is in the spring because the shoots haven't grown up into the tall plants you see by late summer. Plan to cut the knotweed continually throughout the growing season. Don't let the plant get more than a foot high before cutting it again. This may mean you have to cut it every two to three weeks or even weekly during the late spring and early summer. The best tools for cutting are clippers and loppers. Cut the stalks as close to the ground as possible. It is important to collect the stalks after you cut because the knotweed can grow from any piece of rhizome or stem with a node left on the ground. This is especially important when cutting near water. Gather your stalks and pile them off the ground. We recommend placing them on plastic or a tarp. Do not compost this plant. It can survive the compost process if not fully decomposed. If you don't get started in the spring, the fall is also a great time to cut knotweed. Clearing out the dead stalks helps make the spring cutting easier. Controlling knotweed can take years, but your cutting efforts, combined with a replanting of the area with native species, will help restore a little piece of Vermont.